The 10 minute limit on videos disadvantaged my first response to Shock of God. In it I answered the true meaning of Shock of God's question for Shock of God's followers and Shock of God. I explained what atheism is and gave Shock of God the true response to such a query. I've recently discovered, too late for the previous video, that the time limit on videos has been increased to 15 minutes. In this video I will tell the followers of Shock of God and Shock of God himself where he can find the answer to what they and he believes his question is asking. Prove there is no Jewish, Christian, Muslim God and he doesn't have to go far. Two of my videos do that handily. First, Does God Exist? A Very Strong Case A video I posted June 7, 2010 in which I go through debunking the claims of your God with the current set of scientific knowledge. The Age of the Earth, Archaeological Discoveries, which place man in existence further than the 9th century BC, Paleontology, yes, science proves your God, the Abrahamic God of the Jews, Christians, and Muslims, does not exist. The fact that you do not accept nor acknowledge that proof is your deficiency. Second, science denial is not God's only stranglehold on your mind. This God of yours is also conceptual. That means he's in your heads a brain virus, a weed that you can't eradicate. I dismantle and destroy your conceptual crutch to God in the video Now You See TV The Robot, posted July 19, 2010. Yes, shock of God follower, shock of God, your God Yahweh does not exist, never existed and never will. Jesus did not die for you or your sins, and not a single one of them is forgiven nor will be forgiven by anyone but the person, persons, you did actual harm to in this world. So those debauched lives you live that you believe are completely within God's plan for you, instead, treat others as if there is no God, as if you have an actual conscience. If you subscribe to my channel, Shock of God, I'm going to assume you've watched these two videos. I'd be interested in knowing your response to them. That is, if your loving Christian nature will allow you to treat me as anyone else, an equal, and you don't consider me a peon to be ignored. Unless, of course, you simply heard of my channel and blindly subscribed to it. That couldn't be the case.